Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, you read the title already. I'm going to show you this makeup look, which is very quick and simple. Trust me, just takes ten minutes to do. And uh, yeah, you can wear this makeup like apart from the lip. I mean, lip is always a choice. Someone likes to go bold. Someone likes to go nude. So that's a choice. You can wear this makeup look to office, to college, or maybe if you're just somebody who likes to keep it very simple, you can always wear this. So if you're interested to see how I did this look, simple, quick, and easy, then keep on watching. So let's start off. And for today's makeup look, I'm going to use the beauty products from Lens for Beauty. So let's start off with the primer. And for primer, I'm using the Glam Touch primer from Lens for. So I've tried these products a couple of times, and I really like. So this is like a silicone texture primer. You know that very clear. Um, hello. So that's the you know this is that very clear gel type of primer. Now uh, because I told this like a office slash college type of glam, I don't want to do anything heavy for the base. Just the instant refreshment. And I've mentioned it a number of times that if you want something to look more natural, the best way is to like you know just use one product, either concealer or foundation on the entire face. So I'm just going to use a foundation on the entire face. Now, if you have really good skin, then you don't have to like apply it on the entire face. Like if you have like a blemish or two, then you can apply it here and there. So I just dot the foundation on the places where I need a maximum coverage, and that is usually like on my cheeks area. So I'm just going to add it there. The easiest and the quickest way to apply a foundation is with a brush. You can see like it just literally took me one minute. Not even one minute, like ten seconds to do that entire side, and because you don't lose coverage with a brush, it's quite easy to build it up and like you know finish it off. Going in with the same product under the eye as well. If you think you need a tiny bit coverage, then go on with the same foundation and add it under the eye as well. You don't need to like you know add a different concealer and like you know waste your time. Just one product does everything. Now you should remember that this is like a simple look. Now this won't give you like extra dimension and everything. It's like something quick and easy, just to like refresh your face. Next to set my face, I'm going to use the Lens for Beauty Compact. Now we should make sure like we set our face really well because we want the makeup to last the entire day, right? So set it and forget it. So yeah, I just set my entire face with it. I think this shade suits me very perfectly. This is the shade base. They have four shades of the compact, and it's SPF 25. I'm just like lightly dabbing it, making sure there are basically no creases and there is no shine. I like to keep it very matte, especially because I'm oily skin. I tend to get a little oily, so you know I like to keep everything matte, and that like you know later my natural glow to come through. Now next we are going in with blush. And for blush, I'm using the Lens for Beauty Cheeklicious Blush, and this is the shade Coral Rush. Now, pick a thing, either blush or a bronzer. You need dimension in your face. You can, you, like, you cannot just walk out like this. You look like a pale ghost. So you need some dimension. So pick a blush or a bronzer. I really like a blush because it just adds that fluff of color to the face. Fluff of color, flush of color. I'm, I'm so. I, See, I can't talk anymore. So I'm just like you know lightly dabbing. That you can use the blush to contour as well. Just go very light-handedly. This is a very pigmented blush. Just going to blend whatever is there. I'm not gonna bronze my face, so I just like you know took it till the high point because I want the structure plus the color on my face. I'm gonna take a little bit and add on the nose as well, just a tiny bit. Remember, it's a very pigmented blush, so a little goes a really long way, and the color is beautiful. It blends really well. I mean, you can obviously see now my nose is looking a little sunburned. Next, I'm going in with the Lens for Smudge Me Eye Pencil. Uh, now, I don't like to do a lot to my eyes when, like, I want to keep it simple, but I like to, you know, tight line my um, upper lash line so that when I apply mascara, it seems very seamless. I'm going to add the same thing a little on the outer edge. I'm going to take the other side. So this is like one side is a pencil and one side is like the smudging brush. So I'm just going to smudge that out. 
and like you know create a very soft way you can see it's not harsh it's very very soft i added a very tiny bit just creating that illusion of a way uh, now these days i've been loving to do a foxy eye so i'm going to go in with the length of beauty sketch it eyeliner i'm going to throw a tiny bit like i want to keep it very very soft but that literally adds so much definition you can totally skip this but you know just in case you want to add a little extra drama to the eye and you have the time to then you can do this see just a very tiny bit and like you know kind of elongates my eye the tip of this felt tip is very very pointed so it's very easy like you know to get that very sharp edge now uh, next it's almost like you know done i'm just going to add a little bit of uh, uh, mascara you see that this tiny mascara spot it always happens it's okay when that happens let that be we clear that later just continue to apply your mascara uh now of course if you would like to fill your brows you can do that at this point i personally like have to take pretty big brows already so i'm not going to do anything for that next let's move on to lipstick so i'm going to line my lips using the rebel lip liner in the shade dusky brown i love you know a really good brown liner like if you see my videos you already know that i always always like love using a brown liner so i'm just going to see this is like such a beautiful brown now of course like you know talking to you guys and doing so obviously it'll like you know be like more than longer than 20 minutes but trust me if i like quick and go do it it hardly takes any time so i have two lipsticks with me from lenford one is like a very pink color and one is very nude so i really love my pinks like literally i'm a pink kind of girl so this is one of the liquid lipstick shades this is the shade dahlia nude i mean if i pop this also in the center it will look really really beautiful uh, but i want to go in with this lipstick this is the shade pale brown from them because it's like a very gorgeous brown nude and i'm going to pop that in the center all the brown nude lovers are like <laughs> i know right such a beautiful color now sometimes if you do think of course it's like a bold thing you can go in with a pink or whatever maybe you know i'll just add the pink in between as well i mean why not i've put on a proper brown like you know lipstick after so long it looks so beautiful now um, of course we have to get rid of this now what i'm going to do is now since it dried down i'm going to go back with the spoolie And I'm just going to go over it and like scrape it off. And yeah, that's it. Again, like you know, maybe you can go over with your brush and just like gently tap on like whatever product is left on the brush. We like you know go over that. Finally, a little bit of highlighter. I'll just add it in the inner corner, not too much. I mean, this is like complete. you know personal preference i like usually don't add highlighter on my cheeks if i'm going for a very like soft look just in the in a corner and that to like mostly like a white matte shade or something like that like a very subtle matte shade maybe like a little bit of setting spray and yeah guys that's about it it is very very simple it you know my face looks a little fresh but it's not too much of makeup it looks very soft but very nice at the same time i love what i like you know the foxy i think i'm like you know you really have to try it just enhances the look so much without you doing anything at all i mean like you know but like basically doing like very little bit and then the lipstick i really really love so let's quickly go through the products i've used and what i think about them so this compact is really nice you can see like my face is matte does the job really well uh, if you're somebody who really likes compacts want something to just set your face as soon as possible as quick as possible you can definitely give this one a try i don't see anything heavy at all everything is set really well and the shade kind of suits me perfectly and the next 
next one we used is this blush the tone of this blush is so beautiful it's a very pigmented blush so you need to be very careful like while applying it a little goes a really long way this is the shade coral rush i would highly recommend this blush because like the tone the price point everything is really nice and it's a matte blush i always prefer matte blushes over like shimmer ones because i have textured skin so i really like this one trust me i'm not even kidding this is really nice um the next ones we used are uh, uh, eye pencil now really nice it's a dual ended one so you don't need an extra brush if you're somebody who doesn't want to invest in brushes to like, do the extra job so one side is the eye pencil the other side is like a brush to just smudge everything off you can see like that very slight wing i do with it and smudge it off it just adds so much to the look the tiny little things only do like so much for a look and the next one we use is the sketch it liner the felt tip is really nice to get a pointed end like you can see it one stroke and like you get such a thick eyeliner it doesn't bleed now usually i always test my all the liners on my hand and like if it bleeds at all i hate it but it's not bleeding between any lines that means it's not going to smudge most of the time it's like stick and it is matte black that's really nice i love matte black liners and next i use this lip liner i mean you can see the shade it's super beautiful they have number of different shades and uh, next the lipstick this is the matte like you know bullet lipstick and this is the liquid lipstick uh, so these are like preferences i like both trust me every product product is really nice i would like you know not use i mean it would probably like very evidently be seen on camera like we are filming in 4k of course i don't know if i have to say this but even i was a little skeptical like before i use these products because i've never heard about the brand but like after trying the products and like these are good products i don't know why nobody is talking about them uh, so yeah anyways if you want to check these products out everything will be in the description you can like you know check them out so yeah guys that's about it i hope this video was useful of course the You can try this makeup look and see for yourself how simple and easy it is. Trust me, it doesn't take more than seven to eight minutes, maybe like maximum ten minutes. But of course, like you know, free to that. I did my skincare. I'll put the video here. You can check that one out. And I wore my sunscreen and everything. So yeah, that's it for this video. Oh no, wait! And this whole time, if you were wondering what beautiful nail paint I'm wearing, I've got that covered as well. So Lenovo has nail paints as well. They have. almost like ad different shades of nail paints and the one i'm wearing is their nail tint creme caramel such a beautiful shade hello can you focus see like such a beautiful pink nude they have a lot of different shades a lot of different finishes as well this is like a metallic one this is that like you know topper glitter topper so they have various like different shades you can check the nail paints out this is one of the very beautiful shades so yeah that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then make sure like and subscribe to my channel and bring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video